Okay, round two of me trying to figure out what I want to say, how to make videos, and what kind of person I want to be on YouTube. You know, as far as the video goes, go. I'm quite comfortable posting comments, but it's a little a little more difficult. I, I do like the idea of just talking into the camera, um, being an honest person. It's just uh, being who you are in real time. Not so much putting on masks and pretending to be somebody or getting people to think differently of you. To be more impressed, less impressed. There's also the, you know, razzle, dazzle, <laughs> the uh, spectacle, you know, the fireworks, that sort of a thing. You know, it's nice to impress people, people like to be impressed. sure it'll turn out better than it looks on this little screen. But I don't know what the quality is. I think it's 480. This thing says it'll go up to either it says it'll go to 720 or it says it'll go to 1080 but it'll only go to whatever it is, 480 or 720. The next one down anytime I try to Record a higher setting, it just crashes. So, maybe I'll look into that. See if there's a workaround for that. Or maybe Amazon wants you to specifically get something. Maybe other people have found a way around that too. Which would be nice. Let's see what do we got going. sure what the temperature is you know but it's it's what either the 29th or the 30th of December I don't know <laughs> but being a night person I mean, things just switch over just you know rotations why well, keep track of it on calendars I can I can sort of see the point of it you know as long as everybody agrees on a moment but Not about the calendar that people made up years ago. Certainly not for their fucked up reasons. Uh, there's almost a, uh, it looks like the surface of the water. Maybe through the reflections. How still they are in some places. Like where it's water you can see ripples, but where there's like a a layer. I mean it's not ice yet, but it's just still water. Probably very thin, mushy layer. smiling right now. This uh this place where I am this where I grew up, I spent a large portion of my life here.
really the only major pier. If you say the pier to anybody, I don't, you know, they'll know right what you're talking about. But, uh, yeah, when this ice forms, it was really, really an important moment for me for a few reasons. So it's a little bit better over here if you can see the ice. I gotta be careful not to drop the camera. Not even the cameras, freaking Kindle. Ice to me meant freedom because growing up here on the water and looking out at the boats in Thunder Bay, I thought that uh, that's really not really, but that's almost the closest thing that you can get to being free. Even though you're at the, you know, you're at the mercy of the boat, you're at the mercy of the, the water and the elements and stuff. But as far as just being a person, man, just how how uh, liberating maybe it would be just to be away from you know from the land, from people. That probably sounds kind of bad. I mean, you know, I love the people though. Don't get me wrong. We are freaking amazing creatures. I mean, can't see it, but I mean, pretty amazing stuff. Just in this little place, and all the companies that have moved in here. But anyway, um, yeah, we've we've done good things, but it's it's nice. It's nice to be able. To to, uh, to get away from that. To know that you're kind of in charge. You set to make the rules for yourself. And do what you want. I know, there's still Coast Guard and, you know, sheriffs. Whatever. People, people can still get to you. Like Scientology and Seal. <sighs> what I wanted to do was kind of segue into the Arctic and something that I figured out from all of the uh, images. But I also wanted to talk about my childhood and riding uh, icebergs. You know, that's one thing we used to do here is when the ice would form, we would ride it out like ride it around this pier and uh, it's not such an impressive thing now that the water is so shallow around this pier but it was especially for us being the little humans you know eight nine eight and nine is when I started to explore the ice but nine ten eleven that's really when we took big risks and would go out, you know, deep water with our iceberg boats. I mean, even even played fucked up games, you know, <laughs> ramming them into each other, you know. And you're not getting a lot of speed, so it's not too dangerous. But you know, 
I probably slipped off of mine and into the water and had to flounder sort of back onto the ice maybe three, four, five, six times. Uh, on top of that, there is just uh, falling through, some kind of cracks. Um, you know, sometimes you just step in a slushy spot when you thought it was solid and you go in. And that's one of the risks that we take, but that's also one of the risks that freaking Inglet's took, you know? Human beings that explored the North Pole uh, and the ice and, you know, moved around, the Vikings, you know, you know? but uh, the people, the people that explored Northern Russia, Northeastern Russia, Alaska, you know, Scandinavia. Just all of that. I don't even know why I'm freaking holding a cigarette. It's so cold. My ass is so cold. But I couldn't do all this if I didn't set the camera down. Not too bad. You put on enough clothes. It's not bad at all. Your body keeps keeps you real warm. But most people, you know, with their cars, they don't wear a lot of clothes because clothes are cumbersome. Anyway, um, I'm going to try to bring this to uh, some kind of close. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, huh. I, I wish I was in a conversation right now. Not a whole lot, I just mean slightly less oxygen probably than there is outside here with all these plants. But Alaska, or at least the Arctic Ocean, one, you know, I've, there's so many things, so many things I want to tell you because there's so many things I have not made videos about. And that's why I'm not good at this because there's I just gotta get things straightened out. I gotta get things out so that there's enough out there that anybody you know that at least I at least I know that I've put it out there so that you know I can focus more eventually. But uh Alaska or north northern Arctic Ocean, the Arctic Ocean, north of uh, Russia even, or um, up by Greenland, the Arctic Ocean. On and I know this is just drawing, but on the um, Colorado Plateaus, um, see, it's called CPGO. 
the um, website, but there's they have images, awesome images, images that I'm surprised more people don't use, and that not everybody is completely familiar with. I think the guy's name is something Blakely made them Photoshop, but still beautiful, beautiful images, and they're pretty good because you know he's got he's got a huge list of references, you know, geologists. All sorts of people, paleontologists. Uh, oh, fuck. It's cold. It's so cold even a cigarette. Fuck. Oh, look, here's a log. I love when logs roll up on the beach. Make great benches. Uh, anyway. Where was I? This is, this is freaking perfect. This is awesome. of life too. This time. Hmm. Much calmer if you're on the shore. So in these uh, images the uh, area north of Canada basically is a shallow sea. And when I say that, I mean over hundreds of millions of years, it was a shallow sea. And I'm not, you know, I'm not all big. I don't want um, people being exploited too much, you know, by you know, gasoline salesmen. <laughs> but, uh, or, you know, there's plastics too. Plastics are good and bad. But, ugh, the fuck? Um, you know, maybe this really isn't a subject I want to go into too much, but anyway, it's a shallow sea where probably, you know, I mean, it appears that it goes back as far as uh, Carboniferous. Um, that it could be wrong, you know. It could um, but the thing is, it wasn't in the tropics, though. It wasn't. It was in the tropics temporarily, but not as long as, like, the Tethys Sea, for instance, and uh, the Arabian Sea and the Indian Ocean and that area. You know, the Mediterranean. That area has been, you know, in the tropics for much longer, and a shallow sea, where, you know, just huge amounts of organism. I mean, think like swamp, think uh, Everglades, think, you know, think of all that rich, rich, uh, all the bacteria, all the phytoplankton, just all the life that uh, lived and died, and, you know, all the chemistry, chemistry that went on there. Uh, that is responsible for oil. Now, I mean, we're here in Michigan. We're at a good spot, too. We are. There is, you know, there was sort of a shallow sea here temporarily. There's even a better one in the uh, central plains. from basically uh, Texas up into mid to Canada. You know, some amazing, amazing history there. So, I'm going to see right there. It's like three quarters of it. Okay, I can say whatever I want. 
<laughs> I gotta keep that in mind. I'm not, I'm not like on a schedule or anything. I'm just talking. Talking, trying, trying to be somebody. Trying to be myself, really. And the thing is, I like conversation. I like communication. Without another person to, uh, to you know, bounce things off of, and he's just kind of thrown out randomly. It's crazy. There's so much traffic. So, uh, Yeah. Well, I've been thinking just a lot about this planet. Yeah, a lot of... Maybe not enough about other... Other planets. I feel like... We should be working on those too. Figuring out what we're going to do with Venus and Mars. You know, the moons Jupiter, Jupiter, even... The, uh, the asteroids. There's so much to do. And what are we doing? What are we doing? I guess we're kind of waiting around. We're waiting, waiting around so that people can figure out how to make it easier. Easier for us. So, one of the things that I was thinking about, you know, since we're vaguely on the subject of terraforming, and I haven't mentioned it really at all, um, the Sahara, you know, I thought a lot about what could be done with it, and I've thought about, um, Basically, uh, 22 minutes, 41 seconds. I better stop this and restart it. Who knows if I'll even get all these uploaded. 